What up, big boy? What's happening, everybody? Everybody a little tired now. Put the head of my hand a tire on the rope. Well, I thought they were tired. I guess so, man. Tired. Yeah, he's still ready to go. Apollo and Greg never tired. They always on go. They always charged up. But they don't really work as hard as some of them when they're working. They work as long, but not as hard. Not as intense as someone when he's working. I mean, Grace pretty intense, but she don't just don't really have what, what he has just yet. I don't even know if she ever will, really. I mean, she's a super, super intense dog, but some have always been an incredibly intense dog, incredibly powerful, strong, powerful dog. And he was just, he is not afraid of that power. Some dogs are scared of biting so hard on stuff. Not some, he don't care what it is. He's getting, it's getting a full bite. Moon's in a good mood, Apollo's in heat. Apollo should be receptive sometime in the next 10 days or so. We do everything natural over here, so I'm gonna, I'll let her tell me when she's ready. I mean, honestly, someone will tell me. Bro, chill out. Honestly, someone will tell me when she's ready, really. But, a few months though. We'll have some summer in Apollo. In a few months, and those should be fire. Brilliant dogs. Athletic dogs. Protective. Aggressive. Good nerves. Fetch, swim. I mean, no moon. No. These dogs do everything. Really, I can't. You know, I know. I know they're my dogs, so it's easy for me to say they're amazing. But just watch them. Just watch them. If you haven't really seen them, just watch them. These dogs are incredible. I mean, this is and this is just our backyard life that y'all see. You're just see us in the backyard for the most part. I mean, there are some videos of us doing other stuff. But as far as training, I don't post many training videos at all, just because. I just don't, you know, this is not, this is not what I want to do. But just naturally, what you, see, what you see in the backyard every day, who wouldn't love to have those kind of dogs? Who wouldn't love to have that kind of dog? A dog that can do it all. These dogs can be with my family. They can be off leash in the suburbs. They can be off leash in the country. I know I'm safe at all times. And we still have a lot of fun. You know, a lot of people have like super, super serious dogs. Don't get me wrong, these, are, these dogs are super serious too. But we can still have fun. I can take all of them to fetch one ball. I can take all of them to fetch one stick. I can take all of them to swim. I can take all of them to do everything. And that probably won't last forever as I get more dogs. But these, this group right here, perfect for me. Perfect for an active person like me. I'm, I'm super active. You know, I like to I like to I like to say that my dogs are just like me. I'm athletic. I'm active. I'm brilliant. I'm aggressive. I like who I like. I don't like what I don't like. But I'm cool though. I'm laid back. And so are they. <laughs> or a ball or something. It ain't happening. You can go get on the rope though if you want to, big boy. So, and all of my dogs are health tested. So before I even before I even think about breeding so much through Apollo, they're both health tested. So I'm gonna have to get his hips um, have to get his hips checked. Um, but I gotta I got some stuff I got planned as far as like personal life type stuff. So I'll do that maybe when that's over. I got some trips and stuff like that I got planned, but. I might do that when I get back, but aside from that, I know that putting someone to Apollo shouldn't present any issues. It won't present any temperament issues. You know, 
like you're gonna get dogs with uh, any genetic <laughs> They'll just be fire, fire dogs that you can do anything with and still enjoy them as a family. I know, I know a lot of people that have dogs, people say, how do you get them to fetch? They don't have to do anything. I threw a ball, I threw a stick, they went and got it. Now how to get them to bring it back, that's a little, that's, you know, that, that takes some work sometimes. But uh, I didn't have to teach Gray to bring it back. I didn't have to teach Summer to bring it back. I had to teach Moon, and Moon basically taught them. But I mean, if you have a dog that wants to fetch, which you would if you got a dog, if you got a dog from Summer and Apollo, those dogs are gonna fetch. Those dogs are gonna swim. Those dogs are not gonna have motion sickness in the car. They're gonna have high prey drive. If you see Apollo go chase squirrels or whatever she, she saw go over there. Which is also very useful if you don't want things in your yard or if you just want to play. It's like, a, it's like watching your dog be a dog. You get all that from from these two. So yeah, I, I wouldn't. Go. Bro, I'm trying to talk. Chill out. You are rude. You're rude as fuck. Okay. Yeah, if you want a super dope dog that you can just have some fun with, if you're the kind of person that has fun in your life and you, and you want to take your dog with you, this is a, these are the dogs. If you just want to sit in your yard and have a dog. I don't know if these are the dogs for that so much. You just want to have a dog in your living room. This might not be that. These dogs are active. They're going to want to be active. Now, don't get me wrong. They come in my living room and just chill and all that stuff. But if you're the kind of person that just does that, if that's all you do, you can just... bro, if you're just going to buy a dog bed and put it in your living room and have a good dog, this ain't it. This ain't it. You know, it's going to take a lot more. You got to go for walks. You gotta go for hikes, you gotta go swimming, you gotta go on road trips, you gotta take your dog to the store with you, you know. When Moon was in her best shape, I gotta put her back in, in good shape, as you see, she's super dirty now, but when she was in great shape, this was my rider. She did, I didn't do nothing without Moon. Um, and Soma's kind of like that too, but Soma's obviously much bigger than Moon, so he can't. It looks scary and he's dangerous in case somebody else has their dog off leash. Someone's going straight to kill it. He ain't gonna chase it. He ain't the kind of he ain't the kind of dog aggressive way he's chasing other dogs. But if they come in his area, if they're close, if they're, if they're that close, if they're that close, and he'll grab them. But he ain't gonna go chase them. They can be walking. They can walk right past them as long as they leave them alone. So I'm in Apollo sometime within the next two weeks. We'll get some footage of that for y'all. Maybe I'll put it on a short or something. Oh boy, that's a, it's a cup. Is that a toy? Like, that ain't nothing for you. What you want? You want to get on the road? Let's go do it then. Okay. Come on, somebody. Okay. You better go get it for somebody. Else. Okay. You, know, if you want a stick? I'm not doing no stick. I ain't got it. I ain't got no stick. We ain't doing that now. Getting real nasty before you go back in the house. Yeah, let's go ahead and get real nasty before you go back in the house. You want to go for a walk with the dog? Is that what you need? You need a walk? Alright, we're going to go for a walk. Get some footage of them on the walk so you can see how they act out here. They come from the country in North Carolina. Well, I won't say the country. They come from the south in North Carolina. And now we're in the Midwest. Suburbs, and that shit hit different. Loose dogs, stray dogs, dogs barking at the fence. The owners don't say nothing about it. They just let them go crazy. They just let them rock out, don't they? Somewhere they don't know. Y'all will fuck them. Up. Try to get them. Say, get the dog. Interested? You see this? And you're interested? Hit me. I mean, I really, like I said, I really only want active people. I don't want people who just want a puppy. I don't want people who just want a dog. I don't want people who just want a dog to, to sit, or you know, to sit in their house and or just sit in your yard. Your yard is not enough. 
I like I want somebody active. So when I see the dog, I see it doing some dope shit. I want my dog to go to people who do dope stuff. You know, these are dope dogs. There's a lot that went into creating this dog here, Moon. There's a lot that went into creating that dog right there. And then I put that same amount of effort in creating and raising that dog right there. And then I did it again, and I'm doing it again for that dog. So. I want them to have dope lives, you know what I mean? Because that's, cause that's what they're bred for. They're bred to be active and athletic and protected. And have long wind and swim and run and, you know what I mean? They're not, these are not um, dog bed dogs where you just buy a dog bed in a cage and some toys. Matter of fact, I would encourage you to not buy no toys. Unless it's something that you can, this is a toy that goes outside with these dogs. They're strong, they're high drives. Um, I wouldn't say they're high energy, they're long energy. They're not hyper, but they do have energy. They, 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 can, go for, they can go for hours, but they have very high drives for the things that they're driven for. You see someone who would just mug me the whole time, like, please throw a stick for me. And you know, if you watch these videos, you already know how Gray acts. And the prey drive on these two girls right here is Damn near pit bull level. It's it's crazy. I, or, or terrier level, I should say. Damn near. It's not. I, I won't say it is terrier level, but it's damn near. It's, it's it's pretty high for the style of dog that they are. And I love that about them. So expect to have some big, strong, protective, high drive, long energy, brilliant puppies. If that's you, if you are similar to me in the fact that you like to be active and you like to have some fun with your dog, throw a frisbee, throw a ball, take him swimming, let him chase stuff, let him pull stuff, you know, spring pole, flirt pole. Not, you ain't gotta be technically all of that stuff. I'm a little deeper than most people as far as dog goes, but if you just like, if you just wanna, you know, go for a bike ride with your dog, go for a jog every day, go for a run, go for a walk every day with your dogs, and you want a puppy. <laughs> oh, get me. If you, if you want to know exactly what's in these dogs, go to my Instagram. It's Rogue Wolf Project on Instagram, the same as it is on YouTube. And their, um, their wisdom panel results are on there. You can see the health test. You can see the breed breakdown in each of them. And as far as Soma goes, and his mom is Moon, she's on there too. As far as they go, and Gray's on there too, so is Apollo. But as far as Soma and, Soma and Gray, Soma and, and uh, Moon goes, I know every dog in those dogs up to great, 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 great grandparents. And and pretty much for a great two, there are some dogs that I don't, um, in the in her um, line, that I don't necessarily um, know personally. I didn't, you know, but um, I know a whole bunch of those dogs. So, but the breakdown is in there, so you can kind of tell what you're getting as far as breed type goes. But as far as what you're getting, as far as, as far as you're getting individually watch watch my youtube because the reason that i have a youtube is so you can see the real life of the dog not just not just them when they're in training mode not just them when they're on their real their their real jobs but us when we just chilling at home after work you know after a walk after a workout after training you see that they're that they're dumb. super fun super healthy that's that's another thing getting a healthy dog and a mentally stable dog a lot of times when you buy a dog just because it's cute or just because it's a breed name that you like. Say, I know somebody hit me the other day and said, hey, I want a cane course dog. Why? What, do, what, do you, what, do, what about it do you want? You know what I mean? It's deeper, than just, it's, it's deeper than just the breed name or the breed type because when you when you do that, you set yourself up for to just get anything. You're going to get an unhealthy one, an unstable one, or one that's not like Hey, no. Or one that's not like the one that you are comparing other dogs to. And that's not, this ain't that, you know. I, I, breed, I breed for purpose in my dogs. Each individual dog is bred for purpose. And I, and I focus on the individual more so than the breed type. There are certain things that I wanted in a breed type, but really I wanted a, oh shit, no. <clears throat> My bad job, but really I wanted a big, strong, durable, aggressive, protective dog to go on top of Moon, one that was healthy, one that I seen 
one that I've seen carry all those traits myself personally, and that's what I got. And the same thing with Ray. The breed type um, only really matters. So, so let's say I, let's say Gray's dad had long hair, because let's say he's her dad was a, 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 a livestock guardian dog. Well, he might be big, strong, aggressive, smart, but then he has that long hair. I don't want that. You know what I mean? So that's the only that's that's the only time that breed type would have come into place for certain phenotypical things, but. Um, what you would expect to get from these dogs would be nothing short of dope as fuck. So, again, Soma is going to Apollo in the next 10 days. Puppy's born in the next two months or so. And puppy's ready to go in the next maybe five months or so. So, Rub with puppies on our way.